Hey, in this video, I want to talk about how to actually render the stuff to the screen, like a rectangle, instead of just, you know, using a background color for our window. And it's fairly simple because of the built-in functions that is able to give us. The only thing that we need to define, like let's say that we wanted to draw a rectangle, it's create a new variable with the SDL to rect uh, type. And then you define the x, y, w, h, like the x, y coordinates and how wide and how, you know, tall is it. And I want it to be, I wanted it to be in the top left corner of the screen. So it's going to be zero, zero, and I want it to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels. That's it. That's all we need to define in, I mean, to describe whatever it is that we're seeing on the screen. So remember that we were setting the background color depending on an event. Now we actually need to change this a bit because in order to use the built-in functions from SEL2, we need to define what colors we're gonna be using to draw in something. So we first need, need to define what, what the current color is for the render, and then we need to define what the color will be for the rectangle to be drawn. So the only thing that we need to do is define a color variable and we're going to set it to blue. No. Right, that will be enough. And then instead of setting the render color right here, we're actually going to set the color. Right. And then after we finish reading the events, we're actually going to set the render draw color to, to our window. So we're going to set it to color R, color G, color B, and color alpha. Then these two go together, right? So this is gonna set the color and this is gonna clear the screen to the color. Now, if we wanted to actually draw the outlines of a white square, we would then need to define the draw color so that it is uh, white. Like that, and then we will then just call a draw rect function and we're passing the reference to to the rectangle that we just created like right here this is the one and I believe that's all we need but again if it doesn't worry we're just gonna fix it on the video Right, so there is our screen. We can still change, I believe we can still change it, yeah. We can still change uh, change the color of the background. And maybe you can't notice it because green, I think it's too bright, but if we set it to blue, you can see it right away or even right there. I think it's because the green is too bright, but you can look at it, I mean, even, even as it is. So that's, Pretty much it. That's all you need to actually render a rectangle on your screen. But what if you wanted to fill the rectangle with color because that, those are just the outlines of it. So instead of telling like the render draw rect, you will call the render fill rect, which is gonna be render and then again, just the reference to a rectangle. And then we can recompile it, run this thing, and there we have a completely full um, rectangle. Now we can, again, my window manager keeps trolling me on this. I need to fix this thing.
but we can change it to green, red, and blue, you know, the party that we were talking about, right? Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this one. This is a short one. On the next video, we're, we're actually going to draw a triangle. And for that, we're, we're actually going to draw three lines, like separately, instead of just using a rect, because I don't believe that SEL2 has a, like a triangle type or something like that. They, they only provide it with the, the rectangle. So in order to draw a triangle, we actually need to define the three lines ourselves. But anyways, uh, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you for watching.